Okay, I'm going to show how to take this bones based 3D Studio character into the Unity Engine and make him move. So, uh, first thing we'll do is give him a home. So, I'm going to go to Unity and we've got a project here. I want to show you where that project is. It's a pretty much empty project at this point. And if you go to Unity Engine. I'm going to put him in Spider Demo 2 in Assets. A couple of things I have here the third person controller and the third person player animation JavaScript scripts. So that'll help him move and we'll do it. So start with Max, File, Export. I'm going to make an FBX in this Spider 2 Assets folder. I'm going to call it um, Spider2. We'll say save. Um, oh, before I do it, I want to show you one thing. I'm going to go to customize, unit setup. Notice that it's generic units. Also, if I go to my front view, make a box. You'll see my box is about 200 units high, so that's about how high this spider is in, in, in just generic units. Now, if I go to export, and again, we'll call it Spider 2. Save uh, System Units Inches. Bake Animations is turned on. Deformation Skins Morphs is turned on. They're checked. Embed Media is checked. Scene Units converted to Inches. Up Axis is Z Up. Um, binary, I'm using FBX. 2009.3 okay this will take a minute um, once this is done we're gonna go into unity and unity will recognize this asset this FBX file has just landed in that folder so yeah you get a small error which I don't think really is gonna affect us we'll hit OK and now we can minimize max and go right to unity so with unity you'll see that now Spider 2 is loaded up. Now before I draw, drag Spider 2 into the scene, I'm going to uh, just click on it and come down here to the cycles. Now I've added these cycles already. The way you add these cycles is you just hit the plus sign and, and type them in. Um, run, jump, jump, fall, jump, jump, land, ledge, fall, butt stomp, jet puck, jump, punch, wall jump, idle, walk were the first ones, and I'm going start and end frame based on what I made in my animation in Max. So that's done. And then you hit apply when you like that. Um, the thing that isn't done now, if I hit this little middle square, is I gotta drag the spider into the scene. So press, drag, release, the spider's in the scenes. I'm just gonna drag him up and down until I can see about where he's standing. And uh, now that the spider is selected, I'm going to go to Component, Third Person Player, Third Person Controller. Those are the two scripts that I told you about. So Third Person Controller, hit Add. Component, Third Person Player, Third Person Animation, Player Animation, add that. Now I can go to the Character Controller and just move it up a little bit. Let's go to a side view so you can see that a little bit better. Let's move that third person controller up so it's about the same height as the spider. In fact, let's move the whole spider up just a bit. And we can make that thing a little bit bigger in its radius. Looks good. And now we can take the camera and make sure the tag on camera says main camera so that it works with the script properly. Drag the camera onto the spider so it's a child of the spider. Then let's go to our top view, hit the little green cone, and move the camera so that it's behind the spider. Go to side view, see if you need to move it up or down. If you don't have a camera in your scene, you can go to game object, create other, and do a camera. You can also do the same thing for directional light, but I already have a directional light somewhere right about there. Great. So I think that's all we need to do. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to hit play and see what happens. Okay, the spider's in its idle cycle, and I can hit 
play and it starts to run. I do have a little error here, null reference exception. Let's see what that says. Let's just clear that. It might be an old error when I was still working on some stuff, so I think that's just an old error. Yeah, so it's working. So that's all you need to do. I hope that made sense.